FCS Championship game. Zero chill. A little breakdown. I don't know if you guys saw. It's a couple days late, but my glorious King LeBron James just moved one ring closer catching MJ. Some people will say that it doesn't count. I say it does. I don't care. Now, we have Tory versus Abram. Really actually interesting matchup here. Tory is a regs guy. Tory is all regs for the most part. He's been like a big like money game goon for years. And now he's in Mutt. It was actually the first time I've ever watched him play Mutt. And you're going to see immediately he's on offense and he's playing the game weird. You see him in the spread playbook, gun split offset. And now he's going to audible over to gun tight open. Uh, gun tight open is a pretty cool formation. It has some good stuff out of it. But in the spread playbook, it's hard for a lot of people to run it. And I think it's only in that playbook. Maybe in one other now. I want to say it might be in one other. But immediately, Kitty Force out of the pocket. Playing against Abram. Uh, we broke down another game against Abram in this tournament, so make sure you check out after this one. You check that video out if you haven't seen already. A lot of really good information there. And we're going to see Tori audible around a lot, probably run a lot of, a lot of like uh, RPOs, kind of bubblegum type stuff. But, man, it's hard to – I'm curious what he does, man. He always plays the game in, in, in his way. He's always played the game in, in his way is what I'll say. Got to expect, yeah, and immediately we're, running, we're watching a route combo right here that we really don't see very often. Go underneath, drag route. Able to pick up four. He's two for three for just four yards so far. And he's going to hurry up. Fourth and six. Huge opportunity for Abram to get a stop right here. Now, I do know this game comes down to the pretty much the literally the final play. And we'll see what he does right here. Ooh. Interesting combo. I'm going to be. Oh, that was. I'm not going to lie. Bad, bad first drive overall for Tori. Did not look very good. Did not look very good. This game right here is for about $30,000, I believe, give or take. And. Really, if you're going to do this type of combo where you got that flat coming out in that wheel, I, you got to hit this wheel right here. Like, I, I kind of expect him to hit that wheel here. Or, I mean, yeah, X isn't open. This guy will play anything to X. The square route's a little deep. I think that's going to be covered too. I think if you're going to force one of these throws, you got to force it to ah, – see, you can't – I think yeah, I still think you should have forced it to, to R1 early. It, it's just honestly nothing's really open though. Like, we're talking about like splitting hairs here because nothing's really open. Good thing for him, I guess, is that he doesn't make the tackle. Abram, no emotion, no nothing. I believe this is our third or fourth video on the channel that Abram's in, and it's only his second live event, so shout out to him. He's been a dog. Um, I have never talked to Abram before. Abram Joseph. Uh, my middle name's Joseph. Enjoys playing chess. Oh, huh, nice. Only competitor to qualify in multiple monthly MCS challenge events this season. Okay. Second MCS Final Four appearance, second MCS Major appearance. And he's 18 years old out of Houston. Uh, I'm in Austin, Texas, South Austin, so about three hours away from moi. Um, and yeah, we'll see him set his audibles really fast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go forward a little bit here. There we go, first 10. And we immediately see Abram motion that half back out into the slot into a little five wide set. And this is a pretty good, kind of just a yeah, really good snap throw right here. Watch, check this. Right? I mean, this is a pretty like, easy, like, kind of if then, where if you're looking for this, right, this guy comes, this guy does not defend this area for whatever reason. He might be coming, he might be dropping, he might be doing something over here, right? Whatever it might be. And if you have a streak on that area or any vertical route, yeah, you see, he comes, boom, you're able to throw that. And that's a corner route that he throws pretty fast right there. So you don't even have to do a streak. That's a corner route he just throws in the seam. Good little snap throw like that. You can get yourself in trouble snap throwing, but if you can time them correctly, you know, you don't only rely on those kind of snap throws like that. You make some big plays. Although you see right there, Tori brings a blitz again. And honestly, we very rarely see the style of like super heavy blitzing in Madden 24, I feel like, where he's blitzing. Yeah, then he goes three man. Boom. And there's another snap throw from, from Abram that was a little less, I don't know. Almost like he, that almost looked like he like decided he was going to snap throw before he, before he snapped the ball. To be honest with you. He was very, very like just looking for it. Yeah, man. You're not really going to see people play a lot like Tori, I feel like. Abram plays a little bit more meta style and he, I mean, he does a good job. Right here, we're going to see double corner routes. I would talk about this, this route combo a lot the other day, uh, but essentially you have a short corner and then you have a deep corner and then you have a clear out route of some sort. And it's a super... Super hard to defend both these corner routes. You essentially need two different flat zones, or you just need a lot of defenders dedicated to that deep area, whether it's uh, you almost need two deeper flat zones, or a lot of times people have a deep flat zone and then a man up, and you'll see kind of quick throw. And he throws that actually before it gets that outside defender. I'm going to hurry up. So we see back-to-back -back or very fast fourth downs for both players. Surprise he's not settling for three. He, I, I, I'm guessing he doesn't really respect Tori's defense too much. Usually this is a pretty tough go-for-it situation. 
See, quick throw. Not a good... Yeah, that should be knocked out. And honestly, kind of a bad offensive showing from, from Abram right there. That... I was surprised he threw that. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, like, this... It has a... I mean, you could catch it. You could maybe pass it out and down more. I don't know. Both of them have a stop pretty early. We'll see. Uh, Abram felt like he was more playing bad. Tori looked like he was just kind of bagged. The, like, the play calls were literally just, like, not open. I, I was surprised by Abram's Abram play calls here. We're going to see double stack, though. A little inside zone read. Boom. Going to get some yards. And that's the thing, bro. Like, uh, Tori's going to run a lot of RPO stuff. We saw some serious, about a month ago, run same playbook. They're going to run it a little bit differently, but you'll see some similarities. That was one of those plays right there. Let's see what uh, see what else we have. You know, audible over from the double stack. Now, remember, he was starting out in gun slot offset earlier. Now he's starting in the double stack. Audible over the trio. Just causes alignment issues. Wow, you saw the A gap almost right there. Immediately takes off. Good job. Got to pay attention to that interior D line that Abram has. Because it looks like he's getting some disengages quite a bit. Third and four. Coming out in the double stack again. See, what's, he, what's he do here? Got a little route combo happening. Boom. Nice play. And yeah, I mean, this is where this is where a formation like this, dude, if you can become a good passer out of this, hear me out, right? So many people are worried about either the run right here, read option, or they're worried about bubble screen, bubble screen, whatever it is, right? If you become a good passer and you can hit them with actual good route combos, right? Right here, we have a little wheel up here and then a, uh, a wheel right here. So you have to worry about this intermediate seam. And then he had a crosser, kind of a short post crosser that he threw right here. It's like, bro, if you can start doing that stuff, that's where this start, like this offense gets really good. That's where this offense becomes more than just bubble gum. And it's like, oh, that's tough. He also had a wheel or a drag coming back the other way. That's a pretty tough route right there. That's pretty tough. Let's see what uh, he goes to here. All the way over to the bunch open now. And it looks like another pass. And yeah, this guy actually have a little trail route. It's a cool concept too. This is really where I think, like, this, like these type of offenses transition from bubblegum to being good. And really, yeah, I mean, Tor is showing it right there. Making a good read, juke move, touchdown, just like that, dude. We see this route come a lot from regular bunch, dude, right? Uh, smash return in gun bunch offset, very similar. We have a clear out on the ISO side, and then we have a crosser. We have a drag, and then we have a, from this guy, we have, like, a little return route. So he's going to be a little delayed going over the middle. You can find this in a lot of formations you can do this from. You can see, right, these guys are all different depths right now, right? We have him up here, him down here, him back here, right? Forms a little bit of a triangle. And it's, uh, it, it's tough, dude. You can't really defend everything. Very, very tough to defend everything. And you can see how if his user would have been up there, another thing would have been open underneath. Boom, juke move, touchdown, Baja. There we go. Tori gets on the board first. After getting stopped initially, we're going to skip forward. Uh, immediately, we actually miss a play right here. What happens? Abrams got audible to the bunch wide. Man, if you're somebody who watches Comp Madden, you've been upset that people be running the same stuff over and over again year after year. Ooh, that could be a fumble. Um, I, I Man, this Madden's the least, like, people run the same stuff over and over again, play to play, play after play, right? Like, man, back when Skimbo was dominating, and Skimbo's still really good at the game. Another snap throw. That time, good read, able to get it right above the defense. Uh, like, it'd be same play every single time, right? Uh, a lot of people play like that. Dubby is very similar to that, where they play like very, um, it looks like the same play every single time. Isn't always. The dudes now, man, they be audible and around. Like, they be doing stuff way different, I feel like. Sack's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Tori, the underdog, not ranked. Abram ranked 21, up 7 0. Abram gets ball at halftime, though, which is important to keep in mind. Even this right here, the motion out halfback, creating a five wide look. Still a bunch to the left, but now we have a little doubles to the right. Quick throw, boom. And Abram just gets the ball out fast. Right there, it wasn't as much of a snag. That's, that's just a good read. Uh, but he's he definitely gets the ball out pretty fast. At least this game. I'm curious if Tori starts heating him up again. We'll see. We're sending that kind of... It's almost like... You just don't see it coming. Read option. Let's see. Handoff. Gurley. Nothing really there. Get a two. One rush for two yards. Might see him get the ground game involved a little bit more. Yeah, another run. This time goes to the RPO. Tori with good defense on the RPO, forcing a third and eight, seeing it coming. Nice. Those RPOs are pretty safe, though. Honestly, dude, you know, one of my big things with the RPO bubbles, in my mind, I was always afraid of, like, a pick six happening from them, right? Where, like, they just jump it. I don't know if I ever see that. Like, between people just being able to make the read and they're just not really being pick six defense for it, I don't know if I ever see that. 
Okay. I, I don't love this play. Good snap throw, though. Works out, gets them to a fourth and one. Otto Graham was the QB of choice for both these guys. And you're going to see Tory here call timeout. Trying to set up his defense correctly. This is a big, big, big play right here. Let's see what happens. Tory's sitting in the dollar. Abram. I'm curious what Tory's doing because he's setting up def uh, his defensive adjustments right now. It must be. Yeah, that's the thing, dude. Like, you will never see, you won't see another comp guy do this right now. He comes on double A gap, gonna use her, this guy up here, putting the pressure on, quick throw, got it. And that's honestly just a good job from, from Abram having a good play call selected. Check this. He goes C route to the left side. Look, this guy's down, so this guy's coming, right? These guys, no, no one can get to this area of the field, right? This corner can't. And this safety is usered. So, like, the user just probably won't immediately go there. Watch what happens on the left side of your screen right here with this. Boom. Immediately already thrown. See you know what I'm saying? This guy's coming. This guy's coming. Even this guy's trying to get out there. He can't get out there soon enough. This guy's dropping. C route gets thrown in the seam. And, yeah, we've seen now a couple of times where Abram's taking advantage of these, like, outside breaking routes, right? With, like, a corner route and now C route. But he's throwing them kind of in the seams. We're just kind of like a... It's something that really good players are able to do, taking full advantage of these of these routes, right? Not just using them for, oh, a corner route can only be thrown in the corner. Like, these are drive extenders when you learn how to throw them correctly and just utilize them to their fullest, uh, really to their fullest potential. They, they, they are huge drive extenders. Jerry Rice, touchdown, RPO, got in. Oh, scary dive like right there, low key. And just like that, Abram has tied the game up 7-7. Immediately hop right back in. The broadcast kind of missed the beginning of this play, but just a, a double stack RPO screen. And, I mean, it's tough to defend that stuff, bro. It really is tough to defend that stuff. Let's see. Another one. Yep. Cut it through. There we go. Because Abram gets ball at half, Tori, you got to keep... Clock is so big, dude. If you're not thinking about clock here, you're wrong. You got to keep the clock moving as much as you can. I'm probably going another run play right here, especially for fresh set of downs. Another run play. Let's see what he's doing. He might go... Yeah, he is. Or, I mean, RPO also, I mean, if you would have thrown the bubble, that's fair. Just a safe completion where you know the ball, uh, the clock's going to keep moving. And now, you got to do whatever. I Second and nine, you ideally would have gotten more yards right there, so I don't mind a pass play here. But you really just want to snap this as close to the two-minute warning as you can. I'm surprised he didn't, but he's going to snap the running back, and it'll go to the two-minute warning anyway, so don't matter. Clock's got to be a huge deal, because you can't let Abram double-dip the chip, for lack of a better word, right? You don't want Abram... To, uh, eat, let's say Tory scores this play, goes up 14-7. Abram then, let's say he scores, makes it 14-14. He gets ball out of half, makes it 21-14. And now, just like that, Tory's playing from behind without even touching the ball, really. So you gotta, you really want to time this up correctly. Scoring a touchdown right here, kicking a field goal as time expires is almost, at, it could be as good as scoring a touchdown right here. To, you know what I mean? Like, that's not, it's not insane. Good defense right there from Abram. Playmaker, no. Nothing really there. Ooh, he's going to force that one. That's... Ah. Uh, that's just... Tory point a little bit wild. I'm surprised he... Let's see what happens right here, man. Tries throwing this route bounce. I actually thought he could have gotten that route bounce. He got kind of an unfortunate animation a little bit. That's why he's a little surprised. I, actually, I, I thought he would have gotten that. It's a risky throw to be playing in a game for like 30k. But... Yeah, it's definitely a... Yeah. Tori, by the way, if you're, dude, he looks so big. That's because, dude, he played a D1 basketball. I don't know where for. I don't, it wasn't for a big school, I don't believe. But played D1 basketball, bro. He's a big dude. You got to think, dude, the change of momentum now for Abram. Abram knows, I mean, he gets, he has a chance to go up 21 nothing now. Or 21-7, which is so, so big, right? Touchdown before half. Get ball out of half. Boom. Let's go. Corner route. Kind of, I don't know what happened right there. It's kind of a weird corner route. From the tight end. A little bit of a stutter. He gets kind of bumped up. Abram throws it with anticipation. And I would not be surprised if Abram suffers in like, especially in rep games, I bet, with uh throwing picks to bumps. He seems like he throws the ball with like so much anticipation of what's gonna happen. And this game is so big on like bumping and stuff like that. Again, throws that corner out in the seam before he even becomes a corner. But this game's so big on like bumping and whatnot, where it's like, bro. You, you like right there, he's almost screwed himself. If, if he has pick artists right there, it's pick. And I bet, because I've seen myself do that, like try to anticipate stuff and it just bumps. I'm like, dang, okay. And that's why you'll see even myself, corner route, falls down purposely. Yep, trying to milk. But you'll see myself, like, and, and other guys too, I feel like, be like almost slow with certain reads because you got to see if the stuff's going to bump or not, which sucks, but it's just fact of the matter. 
Tori's also out of timeouts now. So super ideal if you're Abram is to not score this play and take it down to within 20 seconds. Jeez. And if you're Tori, you kind of wanted him to score. You really wanted him to score right there, truthfully. Let's see, Abram's going to take this all the way down. Yep, he called his timeout now with 15 seconds. Clock stopped. Just trying to score. Three plays to score from the one. Got to assume you'll get it. He's going with the 23 open. A little bit of a slow handoff, reverse pivot from the quarterback. And you just see how the blocking sets up differently on that. A little slower, a little more controlled. Reverse pivot from the from the quarterback. Boom, boom. In there. And it's a little bit different run. Sometimes, dude, when you're trying to break like meta run defenses, simply just running like a different run, there's a replay, a different run can like totally break these meta run defenses. Not always. A lot of different runs suck, but you could find some 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 like heaters. Let's see a little bomb play here. We got no timeouts. So he's going to force. He actually has it. Oh, my gosh. He has it. He gets out of bounds. Wow. I mean, okay. Abram, I'm not going to lie, dude. I need a little bit more out of you. I need. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we all saw that coming. Like, we saw that play call coming. Goes for the shot. <laughs> nah, dude. Nah. <laughs> Bro, what? Dog. It's so funny, bro. Cause I feel like Tori, dude, like the way he plays, like a lot of people be saying he gets lucky and he plays like whatever. Like I know that from just like seeing him play regs games. People are like, oh, bro, Tori got lucky. And then seeing this. <laughs> nah. Bro, if I'm him, bro, I'm just, you got to act like that was lab, dude. That was lab, Tori. Damn. I mean, okay. Yeah. I do like Abram, though, bro. He don't take it too seriously. Like, he'd be laughing. <laughs> bro, yeah. <laughs> I do like that, like, bro. Hell yeah. Once I love, we're going to halftime. 14. All right, so Abram's got ball to begin half. It's 14-14. <laughs> don't know how, but it is. Pressure. Uh, and and just like that. Ooh, tried the Hezzy. Abram's able to pick up a big play on the drag. Don't. Do not forget your underneath routes, boys. Do not. But that's a route combo we've seen a lot of in this tournament that we have not seen a lot of in the past, I feel like. It's that halfback streak, slot post, drag, and then a little flat all on the same side. Nice little combo. I will be adding that to my repertoire. I will be. Let's see what we go here. Pressure comes in. And yeah, dude, like Tori, I feel like Tori just feasts on like kind of sending that like rain. Like, I, I, man, I don't know. I really don't see people send pressure like that this year anymore. And now Tori was just, I swear, Tori was just in dime a play or two ago. Back in the dollar. Abram's going to defend, or going to go five wide against it. Pressure picked up. Goes flat route. And that's, if you're Tori, you're cool. Third and 14. Abram, you know, get some, some of that back that you uh, you messed up on the play before. Cool, cool. Go branch return. And that's that kind of return route play, right, from bunch wide we were talking about. Uh, Tori, I think, was it Tori that did this play earlier? It was one of them, but it doesn't matter. Like, same idea. You see that little return route? And then boom, boom. Yeah, I think it was Tori doing it earlier in this game. But we see it quite often. Let's see what we have here. Boom underneath. Probably going to go with the drag. No, he's going to return route. Barely before the user. Fourth and seven, though. Huge opportunity for Tori. See, he's going corner strike. He's going to flip it. And we got double corners right side. Look for him to possibly throw this in the seam. He does that so often. Quick throw. Oh. Man, he loves that C route quick. I got to see how he's throwing that. I'm I'm personally curious. His Almost his thing is if this guy comes, it's almost just like a snap throw to that C route in the seam. Boom. Because, like, look, like he's not making that. Like, cause my th Here's the thing. If you're making this read, you're not throwing this. You are snap throwing it on that. That is wild. And I guess he knows that, like, that's, like, right around the area, fourth and seven. Threw it six, and then just gets lucky with the fall forward. Dang. Dang, 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 dude. That's wild. That is wild. It stays alive. Let's see. Throw. Oh, that cannot be. Ooh. Dang, that's a forced throw right there. I do not think Abrams played great on offense this game. I really don't. Dropping back again. Let's see. Tried throwing that corner out in the seam. Third and 10, pressure coming, pressure just a little delayed. Got to make the read, gets it inaccurate. Now we're on a fourth and 10. We're in field goal range now, though. He's not going to take three. 
And it's definitely a decision. It's definitely a decision. I get both. I get taken three. He's played good defense, I feel like, right? Ah, I don't know. I it's it's such like right now it's such like a I don't know game. You know what I'm saying? Oh ah ah There's no analysis on that, bro. That's gift wrapped. That's gift wrapped and just put getting the ball in your receiver's hands. It was in route. Man, if I'm Tory, bro, I'm I'm a little upset. I'm slightly annoyed. Whatever. Don't matter. Next play. Uh, flood concept to the right. Gotta watch that backside, though. Corner route. Dot. Got it. Good dot by Abram. If you're Tory, though, I mean, you, you played you play perfect defense. If you're Tory, that, 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 most of that drive. There's not much more you can do there. First and 10. Tory with the ball now. He goes immediately to that inside zone. Read, uh, read, RPO read, I should say. Let's see if he goes play uh, second and six. This could be a pretty... This is kind of toxic, fun offense, bro. Honestly, you might you. Dang, I think he was about to launch that. You, you might catch me in this in in a month or so. You might. Kind of sweet, kind of sick. A little toxic, but nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. All the way over to the tight open. You have this actually just a, this is a pretty good formation, truthfully. But he has a stock fade out there if he's not gonna go to it. Okay, thought he might. See if he goes corner route. Got the corner route. Gonna throw it on the run. Has roaming dead eye, I think. Yeah, on the run dead eye. Knockout though. Yeah, honestly, you gotta freeform that down and outside. Almost wait. I feel like he kind of forced that. Fourth and six. Both these dudes have had big fourth down so far. Abram converted one or two last drive, and then just some tight things happened. See what happens here. Trio to the left side. What's the route combo, Tori? What is it? Almost just a basic cover four look. Yeah. I mean, look, very basic cover four look from Abram right here, looks like. Drops back. Drops back. Drops back. Drops back. We got flat. Flat. Hook. Hook. And this tight end comes across and gets catches the ball right in this area. And that's a tough area for every... This area of the field right here, if you have a, a route that's like pushing zones to the sideline, so they're standing here... And hook curls really struggle to get out over here. So this area of the field is just tough to defend for zone coverage consistently. You can, but it's tough to defend. That's where like you see like seam streaks hitting, post routes. Watch where this ball gets thrown. Right? I mean, right there. It's tough. It's just hard to defend that area. And, and everyone knows it. It's a very popular area to, to throw for post routes, seam streaks, all that good stuff, right? Curl routes from the slot sometimes. A lot of stuff gets in that area that just, man... We're going to do a little bunch wide right here. Does he go back to that kind of return route look that he did earlier? So he is. Same idea. He scored a touchdown earlier. Pressure got in, though. Couldn't could have made that read a little bit faster, I think. One bar, Graham. Couldn't get the ball off. And now we have just regular bunch. Just got regular bunch from Tori. Let's see. Oh, this is, yeah, very basic. Very basic. See what, the, uh, what he does. Corner route. I feel like he's bad at free forming. It honestly just kind of looks like Tori's bad at free because that's open too. That's open too. It it I wonder, huh? There's been two big corner routes that he's missed, and deep out zone KO has knocked out. Cause like deep deep out zone KO is really good in this situation. But you can free for him, especially you're a pretty good player. Like you're here, like Tori's incredibly good at this game. You can beat those by like having really good free forms underneath them. And uh we're not really seeing Tori do that. Which is which is odd, truthfully. Huh. We got a short corner out to the left side now. That's bagged. Yep. Bagged. Entire play is bad. Great defense from Abram. Getting no pressure somehow, though. Gets to throw a route bounds. You oh. Oh, it's so crazy to throw that. It's so crazy. But third and ten, I guess you have to. I don't know. No huddle. He don't care. Snap it. No? I thought he was gonna quick snap the hell out of him, to be honest with you. I thought he was. I thought he really was. Return route. And that was pretty, dude, I don't know. Bro, this play started out as a zig. This route is a zig route, but he motioned over. Sometimes those zigs will flip. This one doesn't. Stays a return. Boom. Throws that return route. Able to get pretty good rack. Nine yards of rack right there. And he's trying to score fast because he doesn't want Abram to be able to chew him. That's why you see him going so fast right here. He wants to get a few more plays off. Because, I mean, getting chewed out right here is terrible. And now he runs. Okay, I'm actually surprised by that. I 
Because like my in my mind, dude, you got to worry about tying the game up and then getting the clock chewed. Like, if he scores in the fourth quarter or three minutes left, Abram's in a, in a huge advantage. You'd like to score, like, it's tough. He's in a tough spot right here. He really is. He's going to have to find a way to get a stop. Let's go third and four. Oh, his slant stopped. His post route's open, though. Bang. Yep, out of bounds. That's what he needs. He needs like, And now he needs to score really before, like, fourth. Oh, he wasn't out of bounds? And the clock still going? Back in the slot offset. Okay. What's he doing from this? A little swing screen? Why not? Why not? Pick! That's all I'm saying, though, dude. Like, you couldn't have played that any better. It just doesn't get picked. With, like, how, how like, rare picks are in this game, especially contested, which those always would be. Just unlikely, I feel like. And they'd be, like, auto-swatting a lot. I don't know. I feel like something you want to get too often. Let's go double seam streaks. We got anything. Quick throw. Bang. Holds on to it. Clock still moving. Going to go to about 350. Third and five. That is basic. Boom. Good D. Really good D. Can't throw anything. And he's going to go for it here. Right? Yeah. This is... Feels like game. It's a route combo here, Tori. Can you show your play art for a second? I'm guessing it's like... Sl My guess is something along the lines of like... Some kind of over, flat, maybe a corner, backside in, tight end on a post. That's my guess. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Uh, that's like the classic trips route combo here. And not entirely right. Not. Oh, oh. Okay. Two things. Um, I don't know what this animation is. This is good defense. Ah, this should be deflected right here. That's a deflection. But then you'd like to see Jerry Rice get his feet of bounds if he's going to. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Tori's got to get a stop. Now, Abram's biggest thing, dude, he's got to find a way to... He's not conservative right now, too. Dang. He's got to find a way to... Uh, we're going to see a replay. Chew the clock, get first downs. Sounds obvious, but easier. It looked like he got two feet in low-key, actually. Uh, easier said than done. I like to run on first down, get the clock moving, and depending on that, decide your next play. But now I think he got pass. Yep. Goes halfback, streak out backfield, juke move. He's not conservative. Okay. Last play, it looked like he was unconservative. But no, he's not. I'm surprised he's in a juke on that previous play then. Whatever. Let's go. Yeah, read option again. Oh, he's going inside zone now. A little handoff. Boom. Yup. Yup. Down to the yeah. And that's if you're if you're Abram, second and one's exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. We're two first downs away from this game being cooked. Another one. Quick throw. Seam throw. He's really good at correctly making those snap throws. I know so many people who can't do that correctly. Almost nobody can. Everyone tries to, I feel like. And they can't do it correctly, and it leads to a lot of lurks. And he does a pretty good job of it. I am surprised, though, man. At what point do you, do you go out conservative yet? It's like, dude, the only way, in my mind, you're not in that situation. You still need to get into field goal range. I think field goal range, you go on conservative. Not yet, though. Even though it's like, man, fumble here would suck. But you just have to hope, really. Good pass play. Good defense, though. Corner route. Forced it. Pushed it. You see a third and seven. And that stops the clock. Torrey's out of timeouts right now, mind you. So first down, inbounds here. Cooks the game, essentially. First down, inbounds. Torrey's got to find something. Line is spread. There we go. Okay. Got it. <laughs> that is wild. That, that is pretty bad. Chat, that's pretty bad, boys. I believe this should be uh you don't even see that in this game. You actually don't see that in this game. Ever. That's insane. Huh. Tori just has to play defense for one point now. Wow. That is really upsetting if you're Abram. Like you just won the game essentially right there. Let's see what he does. Fourth and seven of the game. Quick throws it. Got it. Boom. And if you're Abram, fall down. Yup, yup, yup. And yeah, now we got to be on conservative. We got to take this all the way down to one or two. 
and snap, and he's taking a, a delay. I actually accidentally skipped a play, I guess, because now we're on second and 16, whatever. Uh, but you got to – he's just going to QB kneel it. See, I don't – does that work, does that math work out? No, nah, I don't think you QB kneel. I think you just go conservative. But, I mean, honestly, just because you could run off a few more extra seconds because this is, this is going to come down to, like, a second or two. He's going to go QB kneel again. I'm guessing he's just going to end up kicking three. So we're going to skip ahead. Yeah, he ends up kicking that three. Sure. And he's up 10. This game does get wild at the end here, boys. Check this out. Yeah. See that? I skipped ahead 30 seconds, and we have an Abram touchdown. Why? Because he kicked off. Took that to the house. I didn't mean to skip over. I'm sorry. But this is what it is. Most of you guys who are watching have already seen this. So, boom. He's out. He's out of there. Boom, body. Like, bro. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Tori got lucky a lot this game, I feel like. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. That was wild. Bro, Abram has no expression on his face. Dude, I'd be sick if I was him. Like, you, you this game is one. His two, two of Tori's touchdowns have came from before half, ag, insane ag, and then that. Let's see this. Boom. Boom. I mean, just an insane onside kick. An insane onside kick. Did, uh... Oh, yeah. I actually thought Tori got it. <laughs> I thought Tori got it. Boys, if you enjoyed that video, hit the subscribe button. Simple.gg. Code premium if you want to get better at John Madden Football. Learn all my schemes, all that good stuff. Serious about getting better. That's where you want to be. Link to that top description. See you all in the next one.